Hey, what's happening, JDM crew? John here with another inventory video. And uh, even though we're heading towards the end of summer, things haven't quite cooled down here yet. I've got this well built and uh, tastefully modded and lightly tuned R33, made in 1995. So it is a GTR, and uh, we've got a lot of goodies on here. Let's have a look. All right, so first off, you're probably going to notice this really nice red that we have here. And also, uh, the stance is pretty good, a nice kit. The uh, front lip and everything uh, with the hood ornament, and a little molding there. That's uh, from Car Shop F1, so that's a custom kit for the R33. We do have Zeal coilovers all around, so it's got a really healthy stance and really good response and decent driving comfort. So let's have a look inside. But, uh, just look at this coating. Mm -hmm. Go Ganador mirrors there. Let's have a look inside. And so you might have already noticed that we've got a roll cage here. We have uh, a lot of original items mainly. Um, the interior uh, upholstery and everything is still original. We have that roll cage with Momo steering wheel. The Nismo shift knob. And uh, pretty nice boots there for the handbrake and the shifter. And we do have a couple of tuning items here, but everything is pretty stealth. Yeah, you wouldn't believe this is actually close to 400 horsepower, actually. Door panels are looking fly. Just really nice all around. I'll just uh, show you a little bit. Like The roll cage and everything is sitting there really good. And uh, we actually do have a dash cam there, or uh, as it's known a, as a driving recorder here in Japan. Caro's area audio deck. And I'm not sure about the speakers and everything, but they seem to have tastefully modded that, so it does sound a lot better than stock. And whenever you look at the gauge cluster, you're probably going to notice something a little different. This is actually a Mines 320 kilometer gauge set. So really nice. Uh, the mileage is not actual, but it's close to, not too far from being accurate. Uh, they did do a timing belt change at around 89,000 kilometers. So uh, they really did keep up on the maintenance. Take a quick look at the trunk area, and then we'll look at what's under the hood. As you can see, the uh, exhaust is tastefully modded, not too loud. It's got a nice deep mellow tone until you really get on the throttle. There's the original OEM rear strut tower brace, and we do have trusty spare tire. And uh, we do have a silencer for that exhaust, so if it's a little too loud for you, we can uh, make that a little quieter. Oh, by the way, before I open it up, now look at the front. Yeah, pretty good stance overall, very aggressive. And a uh, nice big intercooler from Trust. So a lot of HKS and Trust components. Here's uh, those numbers if you're looking to uh, find out a little bit more about it. It's made in 1995, so it's just about eligible for the U.S. You can see some of that HKS piping. 
GRC uh, cooling panel, so it redirects that air to the uh, radiator. Uh, we do have trust, a blow off valve, and a couple of other goodies. As you can see, we even have coilovers on here. That's the Zeal coilovers I was mentioning to you. Very, very adjustable, so I have a lot of options for this. Catch can and everything there, so keeps everything nice and clean. Forgot to double check. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So this setup right here, it is a removable steering wheel. So just got to uh, press this, and get the ring. All right, yeah, and uh, pretty easy to just snap back on there. Just kind of line her up and yeah, boom, nice and solid, so good times. And uh, oh yeah, I did want to mention also like when if you're looking at those screens, we do have the Blitz RVIT Type 2 and we have the SBC right here. So uh, I'm not sure what the settings are on those, but they do have it dialed in with the rest of the setup pushing around, say uh, it said 388 PS or about 380 horsepower. So yeah, close to 400. Clutch grabs really well though. Yeah, overall really, really smooth through the RPMs. And like I mentioned about that power delivery, it's just quite linear and it's, it doesn't give you like a snap whiplash, you know, it's really, um, while uh, I guess gradual isn't the word, I mean, that's probably the best way to describe the uh, peak. So it's very smooth through the RPMs. You can hear that sound, that sounds awesome. All right, before I finish things up, I do want to point out though, we do have a Viper security system on here, so. You can see that there. Lock, unlock, very handy. Viper, pretty reputable. Pretty sure you guys know him. And uh, yeah, overall this is really good. And I did want to point out, uh, in case I didn't clarify earlier, that that is a trust uh, intercooler. We got some HKS piping and the air filter, as you saw earlier, was M's, if you saw the little M's logo on there. so. It's all there and um, well tuned and everything too. Very balanced, that's for sure. Um, I know a lot of people go over the top with these sometimes or maybe not enough. So this is kind of this happy balance where we've got style and we've got the speed. And uh, also with a couple of little brake upgrades, they did upgrade the hoses on that. So uh, a little better stopping power, a little more response actually when you press the pedal, which uh, on bringing it over here is very smooth all around. And uh, pretty good with the, uh, as you can see, while uh, driving along the uh, shifting, no problem. Uh, the clutch is uh, a little tougher than stock, so I know it's not OEM. So uh, just got to be careful with that. Once you get used to the uh, where the grabbing point is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like a stage one or something. Then uh, it's pretty smooth sailing from there. So really nice. Oh yeah, I almost forgot though that these are Volks, by the way, so genuine through and through. Alright, as always crew, I want to thank you for stopping by and enjoying the video. And uh, make sure to, if you liked it, or if you liked the car at least, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're interested in any other vehicles, contact our sales team info at jdm-expo.com. And uh, for cars like this that are about to be legal, we do have storage options such as our uh, indoor and outdoor storage facilities. We do have a couple of yards and uh, you know, uh, our sales team can let you know about that and uh, let you know what the options are. And uh, also for your shipping arrangements and all that, they'll have you taken care of. And uh, as always guys, thanks for stopping by and um, you know, make sure to check out our other pages in, you know, at our uh, Instagram, Facebook and all that good stuff. And uh, any DMs on those will go directly to our sales team. So they'll be happy to answer your questions there too. So. I'll see you guys next time, and uh, this is pretty nice. <laughs>